morning, ladies. Uh, we're going to do this experiment. Well, there's two parts to it. The first part is calibration of a calorimeter. So make sure you read through the intro. And I've got a little assistant here. This is Billy, the booby, uh, going to help me out. So basically, I've got to pick a calorimeter. I'm just going to use um, this one that I've set up. Oh, and you might be able to see Snowy the snow leopard, Chil uh, Tilly the tiger, and we've got Penny the platypus are helping out today. So um, this calorimeter is number one. And then it says pour 100 ml of water, stir the water and record uh, every 30 seconds. And basically that's until you've got a constant temperature. So I've measured out the 100 ml. Okay, I've just added the water. You need to continuously stir um, the calorimeter. I've got it sitting like this so that you can actually see the, uh, that went out of focus. See the thermometer. Now that's zero. There, that's zero. And it's a 50 degree thermometer. So you got zero, you got 10, 20, 30. So really, you probably need to record the temperature every 30 seconds. The reason why I'm stirring it is to make sure that the temperature is uniform. After about three minutes, if I find that there's no difference or the temperature's not changing, it's at a constant temperature. So you can see the water's pretty cold at the moment. You've got, that's 10 right there. So you can figure out the temperature. Uh, the stopwatch. Hopefully, because it's a video, you'll be able to tell as well, too, how much time has elapsed, but one minute has just gone. It's not really changing its temperature. Okay, that's three minutes. I'm going to stop it there. Temperature hasn't changed. Make sure you read the temperature. Okay, that's going to be what we start at. Okay, so what I've got to do now is I've got to set up the circuit because we're going to do a chemical, uh, sorry, we're going to do an electrical calibration. All right, so just to show you the setup. Going to have power pack on six volts. We're using DC, negative, through to the calorimeter, then through to the ammeter. Then we've got our ammeter back to our power pack. So our ammeter is in series. Our voltmeter, if you look at the diagram, needs to be in parallel. It needs to be reading the voltage that is across the calorimeter. So it is the yellow alligator clips and it's in parallel. It is going to be a little bit hard to see the voltmeter and the ammeter as well as the temperature, um, but you don't have to measure the amps and the voltage for the whole time. We are using the lower scale on the voltmeter, so it goes one, two, three. And we are using the lower scale on the ammeter, which is pretty hard to read, but it goes 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1. 
Feel free to type this up in an Excel spreadsheet. Remember, we just need to record the ammeter or the current and the voltage as it's being heated. So I'm going to turn it on, start my stopwatch, and you have to continuously stir for three minutes. Now, have a look at the ammeter, see where it's sitting. It's just under the 0.8. It's probably one section under the 0.8. And you can see my voltmeter, I'm gonna actually have to, I don't know why I put that on three volts, because if we have six coming out of the um, power pack, as you can see, we don't quite have six. We're reading the top scale. That's five right there. So the red needle, which is really hard to see on the video. Okay, it's just below that five. Okay, 30 seconds is already gone. What's the temp? Another 30 seconds has just gone. We're up to a minute 30. Two minutes has gone. Okay, so it's getting pretty close to the top of my screen, but remember, that's your 10. All right, 30 seconds to go before we hit the three minutes. Okay, there's your three minutes. So I'll turn the power off. But I have to keep stirring. This is where we test to see how well the uh, calorimeter is insulated. So you need to record the temperature again now for another three minutes while the temperature's, uh, while the power's been turned off. Okay, that's the first 30 seconds of the power being turned off. That's a minute. Another 30 seconds, so that's a minute 30. Another 30 seconds, that's two minutes. Thirty seconds gone. We've got thirty seconds left. All right, that's it guys. I'm not gonna do it twice. In the experiment, it does ask for it to be done twice. Probably should do it twice with reliability, um, but I only want you to have to do it, uh, do the calculations and the graphs for one, okay? So you'll just do that for the one, and you'll just do the calculation of the calibration factor for that first one, and then you'll finish off writing up that um, experiment.